on Capitol Hill in Washington, Iraq is under a one-day curfew as a security measure for the anniversary of the former dictator Saddam Hussein's fall five years ago. Cars and motorcycles will not be allowed to come out until midnight. On April the 9th, 2003, a rope was placed around the neck of a giant statue of Saddam in central Baghdad Square. Fido Square, the statue was pulled down as an act that uh, seemed to symbolize the fall of Saddam's regime. And five years after the U.S. occupation, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis have been killed and millions displaced. Well, uh, Amanda Lindhout, Press TV's correspondent in Baghdad, joins me on the phone. Uh, was the U.S. flag that American troops covered the statue with a sign of things to come in Baghdad, looking back? Well, unfortunately, it certainly was a sign of things to come, wasn't it? But here we are five years after the infamous fall of Saddam's statue in Paradise Square, and the Americans continue to have an open-ended presence here inside Iraq. Patrice's speech yesterday is, is worrisome here to Iraqi citizens. He's refusing to lay down a timetable for the withdrawal of U.S. troops in Iraq. And an open-ended presence of the troops here um, is, is quickly promoting anti-American resentment inside Iraq. Like, Iraqis are simply asking for a timetable. They want to know at what point will their country be handed back to them. And this request, as we saw yesterday, when Petraeus was speaking in Washington, just continues to elude them. As Iraqis feel, the open-ended presence here will never promote national reconciliation within Iraq's own fractured government. Press TV viewers are watching archive footage there from half a decade ago. How many American flags do you see flying in Iraq nowadays? Well, at this point, I think whether or not America wants to admit it, there's painfully little support for American troops inside Iraq. Um, from the Iraqi people, as we know, there's a staggering 70% of citizens who want the U.S. to, to pull out immediately of Iraq. Um, there's certainly no American flags hanging in the squares today. So looking back five years, I think that many Iraqis were hopeful. They hoped that America would come in, oust for them, uh, you know, bring them an improved way of life and democracy, and, and then leave. But this hasn't occurred. Uh, what has occurred during the five years of occupation has been wildly irresponsible by, uh, irresponsible by the U.S. I mean, the Iraqi people have literally watched their country taken over and, and have had to endure the deaths of 1.2 million residents as a result of this imposed war. It's no secret in Iraq that residents, uh, by all means, are now treated as second-class citizens in their own country. Um, let's look at a, a recent situation here regarding Blackwater. This is a good example of this. Blackwater um, has just renewed another one-year contract inside Iraq after infamous inc incidents like last September where they were responsible for killing 17 Iraqis in unprovoked attacks. Even, even Prime Minister, uh, even Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki uh, uh, was seemed to be outraged about the renewal of the Blackwater contract. Fudu Square was pretty crowded five years ago. What's it like now, and uh, are there Blackwater mercenaries guarding it? Well, there certainly are Blackwaters everywhere inside Baghdad, and unfortunately, we're not hearing about it enough in the Western media. Um, despite what Maliki is saying is uh, outraged at this, uh, Iraqi residents feel that the Iraqi government had power to, to stop this, I mean, Blackwater continues to operate with immunity inside Iraq. Um, the FBI is saying they're still um, looking at the September incident. Okay, Amanda, very the quickly. Saying new restrictions have been put on Blackwater. Very quickly, Amanda. Uh, sorry about that. Why, why do you think? Uh, uh, why so do you unclear. think? Finally, why do you think Muqtadr al-Assad called off the demonstration that was planned today? Given the current situation in Iraq right now, the declining security and wide-scale violence, it's actually not very surprising that he called off the demonstration. I spoke last night to Mokhtar's spokesperson, and he told me simply the Iraqi government made no security measures to, to keep the demonstrations peaceful, given like the massive number of people who were meant to attend. It had the potential to become very dangerous for people who would, 